Hi, Jeff here with jmbreviews.com doing an unboxing and installation video of a SanDisk Extreme SSD. This is going to be the 240 gigabyte version of their uh, solid state hard drive. Uh, one of the reasons that we picked up a couple of these drives was we've been through about two of the early model PS3s and found that there's a super heat issue with the original PS3s. Uh, some poor solder was used. A lot of times you're going to get uh, excessive heat in the unit from the power supply and the hard drive spinning up uh, and it's going to cause that uh, solder to float and then you're going to lose contact on the main processor and the video processor board. There's a ton of videos on YouTube showing you how to fix that problem with the PS3. Uh, one of the things that we did is decided to upgrade our hard drive to a solid state drive. Less moving parts, obviously zero moving parts in this unit, so that's zero heat. Uh, Hopefully that's going to help out with the heat issue that we run into on the original PS3s. Uh, again, this is a new PS3 Slim. we got a couple of these here in the house. So on this one, we're going to go ahead and upgrade it to the 240 um, Extreme SanDisk. Now, one of the things you're going to need to do when you do this particular uh, upgrade is you're going to need to have a thumb drive, a USB thumb drive, and you'll need to download the latest firmware update from Sony's website. Uh, you can search on your favorite search engine for uh, Sony PS3 update and there's uh, it'll link you right to it you go there and it'll have everything laid out for you on their web page how to structure your uh, SD card so that the uh, the PS3 will recognize this thumb drive and start uh, formatting the hard drive that you put in it and uh, loading the latest uh, operating and firmware system to it all right uh, let's go ahead and get started with the swap out of the drive it's very basic on a PS3 slim you simply flip it upside down and you're gonna see a little uh, door and it's the only piece that you can actually open on the bottom of the PS3. You're going to get your standard Phillips head screwdriver and we're going to remove the blue screw that is holding the hard drive in place. It's the same color screw that's been there for all PS3 revs. Once you have the blue screw out of the way, you're going to pull towards you and remove the plastic cover. This is what's covering the flap that holds the factory drive in place. There's the drive there. Uh, on the bottom of this drive are four screws holding it to the caddy. So what we're going to want to do is remove those four screws from the caddy and we'll take care of that right now. All four screws have been removed from the caddy and you want to go ahead and just get the drive out. Once that's done, take your new SSD hard drive. And on this one here, it's, uh, a, we were going to shoot an unboxing video, but it's pretty basic. You've got the box itself, manual, packaging, and then the drive. So you want to go ahead and open up the drive. There it is there, clean. It's a little bit larger than the factory PS3 drive, but again, no moving parts, platter. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and install this into the PS3. Let's go ahead and do that now. Take the drive, simply slide it into its caddy, and then put all four screws back into the the drive caddy itself. So once you have all four screws back in the caddy itself, all you're going to do is take the drive, slide it back in, make sure it's completely into the unit, and then you're going to put the front plastic cover piece back on. Your blue screw goes back in, and then we just simply tighten that blue screw back into place, locking the front cover plate onto the PS3 as well as locking the hard drive into place. Once that's done, twist, pop down the cover door, and you're done. Now, next step, you've got an unformatted hard drive in your PS3. A couple things you can do. One is, which I usually do, I'll take a drive caddy, I'll put the new hard drive on it, take it to a PC, and I'll format it to FAT32 or NTSF, which are the two formats that uh, Sony uses and um, that way this system's ready to go. I don't have to worry about the, the PS3 having any issues, but I know just from doing it on these ones that all you have to do is take your thumb drive, set it up the way Sony has on their website, you simply plug it into the USB port here on the front of the PS3, turn it on, and it'll automatically recognize that the hard drive's been replaced, it's unformatted, it'll begin the format process, and then it'll pull the latest firmware off of the thumb drive and start the installation process onto your new uh, SSD drive. 
So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and film a couple of installations for a game as well as uh, some startup times from, from off to on and then also turning the unit off to see you know, what, the, what the differences are in speed. So uh, we'll go ahead and shoot those next. All right, Jeff here with JMB Reviews, doing a uh, installation video. We're doing a follow-up here. We installed an SSD drive on a PS3, and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna install a game and see how long it takes to install that game on a PS3 with an SSD drive. So we've gone ahead and we've started up the PS3, and we're gonna go into uh, our user profile here, and then we're gonna insert our game disc. and see how long it takes to install Skyrim. This is the installation speed. Installing game data, please wait. Do not power off your PlayStation 3 system. Here we go with SSD install of Skyrim. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and put in Skyrim. And again, this is a standard, standard drive. All right, so now we're to the actual load screen. 